Welcome back to ETV. Now, Sunday is Mother's Day, but come on, first things first. We've got Stamp Out Hunger Day, which is a great way to help out with the entire community. So joining me this morning is Terry Graves from the Idaho Food Bank and also Mike Morrison from the U.S. Postal Service. Mike, tell us right off, what exactly is Stamp Out Hunger? Well, Brad, Stamp Out Hunger is a uh, one-day food drive. It's actually the largest one-day food drive in the country that started 18 years ago um, back in the uh, Midwest. Wow. And it's expanded to national. Now, typically, how much food do you bring in? Um, typically, this year our goal is 250,000 pounds. Last year in the Treasure Valley, we brought in 218,000 pounds. Wow, that's almost a quarter of a million pounds of food. Mm -hmm. That's pretty crazy. Now, you carry that all by yourself, right? No, not all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> it, right. it takes everybody involved, you know, it's not just a one-person thing, of course. Which is great. We want to find out a little bit more about the process, but first we're going to find out exactly how Terry ties in with the Idaho Food Bank. Now, Terry, how do you fit into the whole picture here? Well, the Idaho Food Bank helps to coordinate the drive with the uh, uh, U.S. Postal Service, but we also are the largest recipient of the food that comes into the Treasure Valley. Um, we bring it in, we quality control it, and then we get it out to our 100 partner agencies in the Treasure Valley. Everything that's collected in the Treasure Valley stays in the Treasure Valley. And this helps restock the shelves at the Idaho Food Bank for the summer, which is our lean time. Wow, well, that's great. So all the actual food that comes in stays right here in the valley. It does. Perfect. Now, if someone wants to get involved with this, how exactly do they do that, Mike? Uh, the best way would be to contact the Idaho Food Bank. Uh, either call them or go to their website. But even more so, all they have to do is put something out in the mailbox on Saturday, right? Right, right. That would, the key is simplicity to this drive, you know. It, it's really easy. Before you do anything else that day, and there's always something going on in the Treasure Valley, right. just uh, hang your food on the mailbox or stick, if you're only given a few cans, put it in the box. Or if you want to give a lot, just stick it down at the bottom of the box or by your mailbox and the carrier will pick it up. It's really simple. Now you've partnered up with Winco on getting some bags out as well? Mm -hmm. Yes, Winco. We'd like to thank them for the bags. And um, we've had people that uh, did some printing for us and all kinds of stuff. There's, it's been a real group effort of a lot of people giving a lot of things to help pull this all together. So. That sounds great. So the simplest part about it is basically put some food out in your mailbox, either hang it on the box mm -hmm. or put it down below and make it easy for the postal carriers to get it all done. And yeah, it's really simple. That's the whole key to this thing, like saying simplicity. You, you, know, you put the food out and we come along and pick it up and that's all there is to it. And donating could never be easier. So more information is available at... IdahoFoodBank.org, or mm -hmm. they can call me at the Idaho Food Bank, 336-9643. Great. Mike, Terry, thanks for joining us, and uh, be sure to just put the food out in the mailbox on Saturday. It's just that easy. We'll be back right after this.